Hello guys and welcome to this week's patch notes. Let's see what we got, um, changes this week, besides the Nodewa changes which we were already expecting to get. So first up we have this message saying that uh, next week we are going to have no maintenance at all, instead some events that are listed here will start next week. And talking about events, I guess I can just begin with those. First we have Beerfest 2018 has begun, which is the same as last year's Beerfest, where we are going to have an additional uh, crafting recipe for Imperial Delivery that uses beer. This event is going to last 3 weeks, so make sure to use it to do those deliveries every day. Uh, moving on, uh, to express our appreciation to all, um, basically they, explained, they extended the Black Spades Adventure yeah, event by 2 more weeks. So please remember to do the dice rolling 5 times a day, I know I kind of struggle to do that. Um, events starting next week we have show of your Grana home, in which you can take screenshots of your Grana home, however you decorated it, and apparently this is a form of contest. Help us grow Young Kama Silve 2018, again similar to the to last year's event where you can grow a Kama Silve tree once per each server and depending on how many of those are fully grown you will get a bigger reward at the end of the event. Um, under the Moonlight, another event which starts next week in which you are going to get two Moonlight shards every day by just staying uh, logged in for two hours and you combine those with uh, memory fragments for a chance to get more than one memory fragment back. Uh, besides that, ongoing events, Hands of Gold is still up, Vox Attendance Rewards, Remastered Trailer Contest, Submission Period already ended, um, Pirates Lost Treasure still up, Get the Pirates Ram as well, Ride on Time, Ended Events, A Late Summer Night Dream, so that's the only one that ended. Content changes, Nodewar rules, Nodewar rule changes have been applied, so the ones that we discussed uh, on the previous week. What are the changes? Um, the main thing you should be concerned about is that now to participate in node wars, um, guild members have to actually register for each node war and guild masters and officers must end recruitment and finish building a fort before the time. Basically now you have to register for a node war to join it and uh, guild uh, officers have to end the recruitment and then place the fort depending on how many people are actually attending. Um, they divided the nodes in four different tiers and this chart here, probably only officers are going to care about it, but this explains how many people you must have minimum and maximum to be able to attend certain tier nodes. For example, some of them are going to start at minimum 25 and maximum 40 people. If you want to do tier 3s, you have to have between 25 and 55 members or 25 and 40. If you exceed that number, you cannot do those specific types of nodes and if you have under, the exact same story. As it says here, after the guild's recruitment for node work closes, um, the guild will need to choose a node to build a fort. If the number of participants, um, including the 5 extra ones that your uh, officers can assign, is too little or too great, you will not be able to build a fort. Besides that, nothing else. Um, to talk about on the node war changes, there are there is also this chart which shows what nodes have been changed from say tier one to tier three. But again, only officers and guild leaders actually care about these charts. And we move on. A Grana workshop has been added um, to Grana, I assume House 14, where you will be able to craft um, the following new furniture for in the Grana workshop: level one, level two. Check this out if you are interested in getting furniture for your house, especially if you are actually um, participating in that uh, Grana house screenshot event. Besides that system changes, you can now take a screenshot um, in the screensaver mode without turning off screensaver, probably only useful for people like me who might use that to create some videos. Um, game world, NPC and effects changes. We have fix fix, they fix some, um, they fix further the brightness and some graphical issues, 
mount changes, the power stats have been uh, power stats have been added to certain Galley, Eferia Sailboat, and Eferia Frigate Pro statues. Um, same power stats have been increased for the sails. If you are into sea monster hunting, I suppose you may care about these changes. Moving on, class changes, nothing much on it honestly this week. Crawling on uh, board ships like a sailboat or galley will now be possible. Um, changing directions when autopathing should now look more natural. Interesting, I will have to see that in game. From class individual changes, there isn't really much besides a line on uh, witches and wizards, which I want to check out. This one, extra animation has been added to that sprint, to, so that sprinting will seem more dynamic. So I want to see how sprinting looks now on wizard. Besides that, um, doesn't seem to be much, maybe here on strikers, you will now move further forward when using the skill rising blast combo. You may know what that is, and we move on into item changes. Let's see, um, fix the item description of event Cuckoo, the pet I assume, uh, yes, uh, before it said it finds resources and now hostility detection, pearl shop updates, I don't really want to check those out, I don't really use the pearl shop, uh, monster changes, the DP of the boss monster Jaeth will now increase when he is sitting in concentrate. Uh, to concentrate, so it just made doing Awakened Scrolls a little bit harder. Quest and knowledge changes, there really isn't anything. Interface changes, some changes. Here are some useful ones, except the descriptions for when we repair stuff. Um, it has been changed so that the counter attack effect during combat appears more natural, so that one might may be interesting to look look for. Um, also this one, it has been changed so that uh, the default outfit preview settings in the Pearl Shop will now show capes. Um, I'm not sure if the, that was the case before, but I assume it wasn't, so now you can also see the capes by default. Your life skill experience stats from the information window will now show up to two decimal points, so you can see mo um, with more detail, precision I suppose. What is your current experience for life skills? When you have a registered item, the marketplace notification icon will now stay visible. That may be useful. Um, you can now set whether or not you want notifications added during the remastering of Black Desert to appear in the bottom right side of your display by going to settings, general alerts and alerts. The following types of notifications should now longer overlap, no longer overlap I assume, so regular notifications, the marketplace ones and post notifications. And that's pretty much it, oh wow, I made it to the bottom of the patch notes. So I would say this week we got some new events, um, <laughs> some new events, the node were changes, um, upcoming events which are going to start next week, and then some, uh, some very small quality of life improvements. Um, that's it, I suppose. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time, stay happy, keep playing Black Desert, and I will see you pretty soon.